Price was at the top here on XAU while price was at the bottom here on the dollar. So you can see from this point, price started pushing higher and um, the same applies on this one. You can see from this point here, price started pushing lower. Many traders make the mistake of buying pairs like Euro USD and GBP USD at the same time. It doesn't make sense because if you lose on one, you lose on the other. Understanding the positive and negative correlations across these currency pairs, including metals like gold and silver, can help you diversify risk or even hedge your positions effectively. Without further ado, let's dive into it. Now let's come to my FX book. So go to my fxbook.com, then come to correlations. So under correlations, you will see a table containing most Forex pairs. And um, if you scroll all the way to the bottom, you will see metals like XAU. XAU is for gold, right? So type in the correlation criteria to find the least or most correlated Forex pairs and blah, 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 right? negative 100 all the way down if you see negative then that is a negative correlation then wherever you see positive that's a positive correlation right so you could come to the list of pairs under this um, correlation table here and click on randomly click on any pair to observe what other currency pair um is either positively or negatively correlated to that particular pair you are looking at at that particular point in time so for the purpose of this video i'm going to be sticking to the most um, popular currency pairs like um let's start with euro usd so i'll just go to the euro usd section here it is then i'll click on it uh, you can change the time frame right so if you want to see um so if you want to see one day or one week or whatever, you can do that. But I'll just go with one month because I need a, a, a sizable amount of data for this. So this is the top absolute correlations, both negative and positive, right? So this is the top positive correlation and this is the top negative correlation, all right? So as you can see, Euro USD and Euro S. GD, which is the Singaporean dollar, has a 93.3% positive correlation. All right, so what does this mean? How can you spot this? Let's go to Trading View. So, on Trading View, I'll just go to the monthly time frame, or let me just stick with the four hour time frame. Let's stick with the four hour time frame. So, what you would do, there's a plus sign in front of whatever pair you are looking at on Trading View. Trading View actually makes this thing very, very simple to our eyes all right so you just want to compare or add symbol right with this plus sign so i'll just click this plus sign here then um i'm going to type nzd card because if we go back to our table we can see that nzd card has an 81.2 percent correlation right so let's go back there and i'll type nzd card and then you can click on this pair i'll just select one of these options here i'll click new pane then i'll close this drop down here remember euro usd and nzd card has an 81.2 percent positive correlation so by opening this chart here you can see the movement right from the top here and from the top here price dropped all the way to the downside just like you can see how it dropped all the way to the downside here and between this point and this point price is making an upward move right and uh, as you can see price is beginning to drop from here and as you can see price is also dropping on euro usd at the same time time remember this is about 83 percent correlation is not 100 percent, so there will be slight differences so how do you use this to your advantage as a trader and let's say you are trading euro usd and let's say you miss your entry on euro usd you could come to a pair like nzd card and uh look for an entry right because since they it has about 
eighty percent or eighty three percent correlation. If you miss your entry on one, you can go and position yourself to capitalize on the subsequent move on whatever currency that is correlated to that currency at that particular point in time. So in this case, you can easily see how Trading View makes it easy for us. You can visually see how much correlation how much positive correlation NZD card and euro usd has for the past one month of course so now let's take a look at another pair which is usd jpy so i'll just click back then i'll go to usd jpy So this is USD JPY here. You can see it has a negative 91.5% um, correlation with AUD card. So if you are buying Euro, sorry, if you're buying USD JPY, you should be looking for sales on AUD USD. So I hope that makes sense. So I'll just click on USD JPY. Then our time frame is one day. I'd like to go to a higher time frame, like the one month. All right, so that I can get an accurate reading. So here you can see top absolute correlation, top positive correlation, and top negative correlation, right? So you can notice that USD JPY and CAD JPY for the past one month has a 96, positive 96% correlation, right? I want to go with USD JPY and a different um, currency pair. Let's look at USD JPY, USD Turkish lira, USD JPY, USD Turkish lira. So here I'll just type in USD JPY. Here we have it. Then, as usual, you are going to um, click the plus sign. But before I do that, let me close this um, NZD card tab under here. So I'm going to click on this plus sign in front of USD JPY in Trading View and type USD. And type USD Turkish Lira, which is T R Y, and I'll open it in a new pane. Then I'll close this tab. So, what can you notice here? Price is, if you look at USD Turkish Lira, you can see price is on a steady rise, as you can see here. And the same thing applies with USD JPY. You can notice that price is on a steady rise from the bottom to the top here right so this is how you do it this is a positive correlation so if let's say you're trading usd jpy you miss your entry on usd jpy you could come to usd turkish lira anyways i won't advise you to trade um exotic pairs right like usd turkish lira but it's it's it all depends on you and your preference so let's say you miss your entry on usd jpy you could come to usd turkish lira to look for potential buys also let's say you want to buy this you can and you miss your entry on usd jpy you could come to usd turkish lira to look for buys and if you're selling the same applies now let's go back to our table so let's take an example of um top negative correlation on usd jpy so for the past one month you can see that um the top the number one negative correlation to usd jpy is euro chf right so i'll just go with this second option which is usd jpy euro singaporean dollar you see it has a negative 89 percent negative correlation right so i'll go back to my chart as you can see i have usd jpy at the top and then i have clicked the plus sign to add euro um singaporean dollar at the bottom so you can see the negative correlation on this usd jpy is trending to the upside and um, euro singaporean dollar is trending to the downside so if you're buying usd jpy you should be selling euro sgd i hope that makes sense so this is how you turn the odds in your favor if you're trading multiple currency pairs at the same time this will help you manage your risk properly this will help you not stay on the same position because when you are on a particular pair and you are buying one and buying another you want a situation whereby if you are losing on one, you are making money on the other. You don't want to lose on one and lose on the others. It doesn't make sense. All right. So that is why it is important to understand these currency correlations before opening multiple positions on different currency. 
pairs all right so our time is fast spent but let's look at aud usd all right let's go back to our table i'll go back so that i can go to the complete table so i'll go to aud usd since many traders around the world also trade aud usd so where is aud usd so here we have AUD USD. So I'll just click it to reveal the top positive and negative correlations. What's the top positive correlation to um, your AUD USD? Number one is AUD USD NZD. Of course, we know that. Let's look for something that we don't know. AUD USD, AUD SGD. Okay, let's look for something we don't know. Let's look at um, AUD Euro GBP. So I'm just going to close this. Come here. AUD USD. Click this. Then I'll click the plus sign to add what again? Euro GBP. So I'll click the plus sign. Then I'll put in Euro GBP. Then I'll open it in a new pin. Close this. So you can see, remember AUD USD and Euro GBP has about 86. Sorry, this is a one day data. Sorry, I forgot to move this to one month. Let's see if it remains the same on one month. Okay, yeah, it is. So it has an it's it has 86 percent positive correlation. So back to the chart. So as you can see, AUD USD is trending lower. Euro GBP is also trending lower. So what does this tell you? If you miss an entry opportunity on AUD USD, you can quickly switch to Euro GBP to look for trading opportunities, right? Because maybe one may lag behind the other, all right? So this is a positive correlation for AUD USD. AUD USD, Euro GBP, positive correlation in the past one month. Now let's look at negative correlation for AUD USD. So let's come to the top negative correlations. Let's look for something completely different. So here we have AUD USD and we have GBP AUD, which has about 88 or some, let me say negative 88 percent correlation so i'll just close this so um gbp aud right so i'll click this plus sign gbp aud so i will click on the new pin to add it at the bottom so as you can see aud us is trending lower while gbp aud is trending higher negative correlation right there so if you're selling aud usd it makes absolutely no sense to be selling gbp aud right since they have a negative correlation so i'll just take one more example before we call it a day on this video this time around i'm going to be looking at dollar and gold all right so we all know that they have a negative correlation we don't need to go to the table to look at that so here i'm just going to put in dxy so i'm going to click the dollar index then i'm going to add the xau all right xau and i'm going to open it in a new pane so here you have it. You can see dollar is trending upward and um, the XAU is trending downward. Now this XAU index here simply mean um, gold and silver, blah, 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 right? Metal. So you can see from this point, price started dropping. While from this point, let me put this line here so that you can observe, right? So you can see price was at the top here on xau while price was at the bottom here on the dollar so you can see from this point price started pushing higher and um, the same applies on this one you can see from this point here price started pushing lower so dollar and metals they have a negative correlation and you can spot this easily on your trading view all right you can spot this easily on your trading view so guys that is going to be all on this video let me know in the comment section if you want me to pick currency pair by currency pair showing their positive and negative correlation on a shorter video right i could just randomly pick maybe euro usd and then i'll cover all the positive um correlations to it and all the negative correlation to it and also give details on how to actually 
trade this positive and negative correlation so if you want me to do that on a pair by pair basis let me know in the comment section guys so if you've made it to the end of this video i really really appreciate and if you are yet to hit that subscribe button do so now also make sure you like this video so that this video can go viral look all right and and also make sure you share it with your friends so thanks once again for making it to the end of the video and i'm going to see you in our next video bye guys